Hi y'all, so today we are doing a deep cleaning motivation video. I'm gonna be deep cleaning my living room and dining room with you guys. So if you need some cleaning motivation, this is the video for you. We are hopping right in, starting on the couch. I just have my hose attachment to my carpet cleaner and I usually use a pet specific carpet cleaning solution, not because my pets like even really get on the couch. I don't allow my dogs on the couch, but just because I feel like they're so much stronger and they work so much better. So I'm using the Great Value Walmart brand pet cleaner in my carpet cleaner and I am just going ham on this couch. I don't know what I was thinking having two little kids and getting a super light beige couch and a bunch of other white furniture. Girl, I don't know. I don't really recommend it, especially if you're a little bit of a clean freak like me, but my decisions have been made. I, I made my bed. I had to lay in it, so now I got to clean it. <laughs> so I am just going ham on this couch. In most of my deep cleans, I kind of tell y'all my general outline of how I like to clean daily, weekly, and monthly cleaning, and just kind of how I break everything down. So for my living room, well, for all of my deep cleaning, I do it at least once a month. For my living room specifically, for the couch, uh, as you can see, I'm basically just doing the bottom section of the couch. I typically just do the bottom, well, I do the bottom every single month during my monthly deep clean as well as the pillows but for the backs of the couch I do them every other month just because I feel like they really don't need them as much but the bottom part of the couch where you sit that definitely gets the most dirty food crumbs spills from juice bottles and sippy cups and milk and water and my kids feet and my kids jump all over these couches so yes I feel like the bottom section needs the most and I also do kind of like the legs and everything when I do this section that is the dirty water right there it is absolutely atrocious honestly I feel like if I had the time and energy I would try to do this more than once a month but I just simply do not have the time maybe someday in the future when I don't have little kids at home with me but yes for now it's once a month and we live. Now we are moving on to the dining room chairs. As you can see, I'm, I'm sure you can tell the ones that my kids use versus the ones that adults use. But along with having super light beige and gray and white furniture, I have to clean. I have figured out the best way to get stains out of them. And this OxyClean Max Force spray is amazing. I use it on every single fabric in my house, these fabric chairs are amazing. I didn't have to use it on the couch this month because there really wasn't any big stains. But on my dining room chairs, these three that my kids get really dirty, I obviously use that. So I sprayed that on the chairs that needed it. And then I'm gonna let that sit and move back to my couch. I always tend to lump my living room and dining room together because I already have that hose attachment you know, out and ready to go for the couch. So I might as well just do the chairs right here while I have it, you know, already hooked up and ready to go. So that is usually why I lump these two rooms together. So while that OxyClean sits on the chairs, I'm going to now move the couch and get all of these toys and nasty crumbs and things out from under the couch. Now in the past, I've mentioned how I have a no toys anywhere in the house other than the playroom policy. And then in some more recent videos, I told you guys how I kind of gave up on that during spring break just because we were getting so stir crazy. I let them have some toys in the living room and I recently went back to no toys in the living room, but I hadn't deep cleaned under the couch yet. So now is that time. All of these toys are going back to the playroom and they're not coming back to this living room. These are all the crumbs, and yes, there were like two or three full tater tots under the couch. Pretty bad this month, pretty bad, not gonna lie. So I'm gonna vacuum all of the crumbs and the hair, dog hair, dirt, dust, everything. Gonna vacuum that all up and then give it a really good thorough mop with my O Cedar Quick Mop. I have the lemon scented Mr. Clean Multi Surface Cleaner and Water in here, and it 
works wonders it is so good and it smells incredible as well which is just a plus of course it's way more important that it works which it does but it also smells incredible Once the floor that goes under the couch was dry, I put all of the couch pieces back together and then I'm going to vacuum and mop the rest of the room. Things kind of get dislodged as well when you're moving the couch around. So now there's like brand new crumbs and things in the living room that kind of fell off of the couch or off the feet of the couch. So now I'm vacuuming this main area really, really well mopping it really well as well and then I'm going to take down the curtains and start cleaning the window so if you've noticed already I don't have any throw blankets in here and I took the green pillow covers off of my throw pillows on the couch those are already in the wash getting nice and clean and freshened up and I will be putting those back on in the morning as well as the curtains the window curtains I'll be putting everything back in the morning as you can see I was cleaning pretty late at night but I just really wanted to get this done it was like 10 30 at night though so I definitely didn't have time to like wash and dry and hang everything back up in the same day but don't worry I showed you guys everything later on in the video so here I am taking the curtains down these curtains are really good blackout curtains that I got from Amazon and they come in a ton of different colors. They're so great. And then I'm using this foaming glass cleaner that everybody uses and loves on the windows. I'm going to wipe down every single inch, even the window tracking. I'm going to wipe that down really well. I really like this window cleaner as opposed to the others that I've tried because it can do the tracking as well. It's just really nice and foamy. So I spray it right down in that tracking and then I just go and wipe it right out and it gets everything out of the window tracking. It's awesome where I feel like other more liquidy window cleaners like Windex don't really clean the tracking as well. So this is like a two for one. It cleans the window really well, leaves it streak free, but also cleans all around the window, like the window frame and the tracking and everything really well. So you don't have to use two separate products to deep clean your window, if that makes sense. So got that all done. And this is the nasty, dirty rag after doing that. So it obviously really needed to be done. I don't know how window tracking, especially on like the windows that are really high off the ground, I don't know how they get so dirty, but it always seems to happen. So once that is done and I got those curtains into the washing machine, I am moving back to the dining room so that I can shampoo the dining room chair seats. I'm going to get those really, really nice and clean, go over them as much as I have to until I feel like they're clean, especially those three that I had to pre-spray. And then I'm going to let everything air dry overnight and get everything put back to normal kind of the next day. Like I said, and usually, of course, you'd like to do all this stuff in the same day, but I just like to keep it real here. Sometimes I just have to fit stuff in when I can. I knew I needed to get this shampoo done. It was really late at night. I knew I wouldn't really be able to do much else, but I wanted to get this done so it could air dry overnight. And I knew I would just finish up in the morning and at least the deep cleaning got done. Even if it got done in two separate days, that's just how you have to, how you have to get it sometimes. So here is the dirty water from the dining room chairs. <laughs> very very it's kind of gross but kind of satisfying you know kind of a mixed mixed feeling there but at least it's done and they're super super clean now so it is bright and early the next morning I actually hung up the curtains while they were slightly damp still this is a great way to get your curtains to really hold on to that smell whatever softener that you use in the wash I feel like when you dry things in the dryer it kind of gets rid of that smell but if you air dry things it really like locks in 
So I definitely like to do that with my curtains and I just put the pillow covers back on as well. Everything that you're seeing in my living room, like decoration wise, is either from Hobby Lobby or Amazon. So just in case you are kind of looking around thinking that you like a couple things, except for the farmhouse windows, those are actual vintage farmhouse windows that got taken off of a house. Everything else decoration wise is from Hobby Lobby or Amazon. So yeah, just in case you're curious about anything you see, it'll be really easy to find. So now I'm just doing the final wipe down on the TV stand and the coffee table. And I don't do the legs of the coffee table every single day. I just do that kind of monthly. So I'm going to give those a nice good wipe down. And then of course I have to do the spray down with my lemon and sage room spray. I spray down the whole couch and the curtains and throw blankets and everything and spray down the air. That way everything, I just know it all just smells delicious and it's perfectly clean. All of those toys that I got out from under the couch last night actually just spent the night on the dining room table because I could not be bothered at 10.30 at night to actually take them to the playroom. So that got done this morning and then I'm just wiping down the dining room table really, really well. I am again using the Mr. Clean Lemon Scented Multi-Surface Cleaner, I'm giving this baby a good wipe down, even kind of the underneath and the edges, anywhere that my kids can touch with gross, dirty hands is getting a full wipe down as well as this little tray that I keep on here with just my salt and pepper shakers and napkins and a candle and my coasters. That is getting the full wipe down and then I need to take all the chairs out because I need to do the floors in here as well. I'm gonna give those a very nice thorough vacuum and a thorough mop as well. Of course, as you can imagine, if the seats looked that dirty, of course I do vacuum and mop like every other day, at least sometimes every single day if it needs it. So the floor isn't that bad, but after just one day where my kids sit on like under the table and under their chairs gets so, so messy. It's just one of those things. So yes, I have to vacuum and mop really thoroughly and really let that product sit for a second, especially where my kids sit so that I can mop it up a little bit easier. But I do love the Cedar Quick Mop reusable heads. They are a microfiber towel head. So they actually pick up quite a bit of stuff and they can get stuff that is really stuck on, especially if you have a really good cleaner like the Mr. Clean in here. Those two combined gets just about anything off the floor. After putting all of the dining room chairs back, that will be our living room and dining room deep clean fully finished. Everything is nice and fresh and ready to go for the next month. Just looking and smelling incredible. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are still cleaning along with me, there is another video and a whole playlist of cleaning motivation right here on the screen, as well as link down below along with my other YouTube channel, my Instagram, and my TikTok if you want to follow me everywhere. Thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing, anything. It means the absolute world to me, and I will see you guys in another video very soon. Bye!